evening everybody I am a highly exhausted mystic Jen okay yes I am exhausted it is almost 9 p.m. and here I am recording a video and I'm not even done with the um, coffee and cars from this morning it's processing then I've got to upload it Mmm, what a day. But the reason for this video is that I got some happy mail today. A total surprise. I was not expecting it. I got a new deck. And it was sent to me to review. Okay. So this video is about the new deck from Debray. It is called <clears throat> The Black Tarot. I kind of glanced a little bit at it because I was <clears throat> totally curious. I guess I just came out with this deck. In the description box below there is a link with my discount code which is all capital letters Mystic Jack. Okay and you can receive a discount off of this deck if this is something that you might be interested in. Okay so oh but anyhow yeah, I've, I think, well, this morning I had, from 9 o'clock until noon, I had meetings, Zoom meetings. Then, 12.30 to 4 o'clock, I was out with my stepson, taking care of business for him. Came home for, four, for maybe a half hour or so, maybe 45 minutes max. I was gone again, getting my nails done. My girlfriend and I, she was my best friend, She, um, her and I went to got her nails done, went to her house, had dinner, and I didn't get home until maybe 10 after 8. I haven't even been home an hour yet. Came home, loaded the dishwasher, and, I'm, and then I started editing that other video. It's processing. Now I'm recording again. My day's still not done. And I still haven't got my study time in today. going to be a late night, so my ass might sleep in tomorrow. <laughs> Just saying. Anyhow, let's get on with the deck. <clears throat> now, I, I am certainly, I'm zoomed in enough, I'm certainly hoping I'm zoomed in enough that you can see these cards, because they are dark. Okay. This I may try out for shadow work, or darker readings, or just... I don't know. The backs are kind of marble-like. I don't know how well you can. the camera is going to pick it up because I can't tell in this viewfinder. Um, this deck, I, they gave me a little information paper, actually. I'm not going to, I didn't memorize all these points. Anyhow, <clears throat> some key facts about the deck. It is intense abstract art by Russian artist Victoria Eva, who left Russia due to the war and now resides in the country Georgia. Okay. It's durable cardstock for repeated use over time, matte finish, highest quality print techniques to make the blacks grays and whites strong and distinctive there's a modern reinterpretation of the Rider Waite tarot the great grandfather of most all tarot decks on the market today the unusual but brilliant art honoring the darkness helps the reader and querent dive deep into their emotions in, in their search for spiritual awareness. Okay. So, interesting. I looked a little bit at it, but not strongly at it. Now, in this deck, it has all the four suits. It has the Major Arcana, has all the four suits traditionally, um, except for one. Okay, 
it has the swords, it has the wands, it has the cups. But instead of like discs, coins, or pentacles, it is called spears to represent earth energy. Because a lot of people think that with the earth energy, that is just money, and it's not. It is our real world, our day-to-day -day life. It's the physical elements of our life. It's our job. It, yes, it's our money. It's our homes. It's our security. It, it's nature. It's our cars. You get the picture. It's the physical world, not just money. Okay? Our physical existence, the 3D. That's what the earth element represents. And they, and so they felt <clears throat> using spears instead of coins, because coins, everybody thinks money, money, money. Spears is earth energy. Okay, now, on with the cards. We're going to take a look, look at these. Okay. They are a matte finish. I like the matte finish versus the glossy especially with recording because with with gloss gla gloss finishes like this you can see that the reflections of lights and stuff shining off the cards this is not as bad okay but anyhow it's very it's abstract based off the rider weight but the images, it's like, they do draw you in. <clears throat> good for the shadow work. Good for the dark side. And for those of you who incorporate tarot into magical practices, and those in a little bit of the darker magic, the darker energy, and don't mistake that for evil, because it's not necessarily evil. Maybe someday I'll get around to doing an explanation of dark energy versus light energy. Um, people that engage in a little bit of darker magic. Um, I, don't, I, I don't like to use the word black magic. Um, but a little bit of darker energy work. Anyhow, we have the full card. Yes, and this is very durable cardstock. I can't wait to see how this shuffles. The magician is very mysterious. <clears throat> the high priestess. <clears throat> the emperor. This could be used for other magical practice be practices besides dark magic. Um, I'm kind of jiving with this deck. I really am. I'm starting to get into more less traditional images and more into abstract. It's just, you know, I go through these phases. It just gets taps into another level of my intuition. Okay. Then... Then we have, oh, that was the Empress, I'm sorry. This was the Empress card, not the Emperor, my bad. Like I said, I'm an exhausted mystic gem tonight. Here's the Emperor. I just want to make sure that I don't have cards that are sticking together. Because you know how sometimes new decks, cards can stick. Okay. Hierophant. Lovers. This is really interesting for the chariot. Very interesting. There's like a chessboard... It's like the landscape is all this chessboard. It's very, very interesting. <laughs> Storm. 
strength. I'll go through all the major arcana. The Hierophant. <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune has... I like this. I really like this Wheel of Fortune. It, all the planets lining up perfectly in divine order. I like this Wheel of Fortune. Interesting image for the Justice card as well. I mean, th these images really allow the intuition to kick in. Really does. The Hanged Man. More of that chess energy with death. Temperance. Whoa. Here's my card, the devil card. Capricorn energy. Mm-mm. Interesting. Let's see. The tower. Very abstract. The interpretations are based off the right away. Put it that way. But uh, this causes you to really dive deep into your psyche here. The star. The man. The sun. Judgment. The world. Okay, that was the majors. Now, and I like the black edging on these. I used to edge my cards. I haven't done that in so long. And the ones that I've etched, edged, inked. You know, I've inked, I've gotten ink pads and markers and stuff and inked a lot of my edges on some of my decks. I haven't done that in forever. That might be a project for me to do sometime. And some of the ones that I did ink, they need re-inked. Because the ink's like wearing off. But that's okay. Okay. Let's see. Now we have the suit of wands. These are very, the, the court cards are interesting too. There's, in the suit of wands, there's the king, queen, the page, Really? They did the page and then the knight? Yeah, page of wands. And there's the knight. I had to do a double take. I'm like, I know I'm tired. I know I'm exhausted. I know I didn't mix up the knight and the page. I know I didn't. I had to do a second take on that. Okay. I mean, I could see the ten of, of wands here. But it's very... Very, very interesting. The nine. Eight. Seven.
six. I'm like looking closer at some of these cards myself. Okay. Five. Four. <clears throat> Three. Two, and then we have the ace. Okay, that was the wand suit. Then we come to the spheres. This is what I was talking about. Instead of pentacles or coins or discs, they use spheres. Spheres, okay? The king. Very interesting depiction of the Queen of Spheres. Then we go, to, then they did again the page. And the Knight. Ten. Nine. Eight. Oops. Seven. Six. Five, yep, they, they were kind of hiding together, not really stuck, but, no, I like this four. This is a little bit more obvious than some of the other ones, but the four, they're definitely obvious. The three. The two, and the ace. Okay, now we're coming to the cups. Interesting. King. I never knew if I would really like a black and white deck, but I like this. Queen. I really like this Queen of Cups. <clears throat> Page. Knight. Now, these remind me more of Pip Deck. I like a Pip Deck, these cups. Ten. Nine. Now, these ones are not. Like the Eight of Cups. Whew. Oh, somebody's bolting. Somebody's fucking running. And that is the eight. Seven. Six. Five. 
five, four, three, Beautiful two of cups as well. Very unique. And I love the ace. Two. I love this ace. I love this ace. Ace. Okay. Then we come to the swords. You know me, I resonate with the queen very, very much. I'm very, I may be a, be a lot of earth because of my son being a Capricorn, but I have so much in Libra. I am so much queen of swords so often. I know how to switch off my emotions. Okay, here's the king. I love her, Queen. Page. Knight. Very good depiction of the Ten of Swords. I like it. That represents the oppression. Um, I like the Nine as well. The eight. You know, this is that secret going behind somebody's back with the seven of swords. It looks like somebody's trying to steal something or go behind somebody's back, you know? Being sneaky here. I like that seven of swords. Six. Two, and finally, the ace. Nice. Now, I'm going to zoom back out and I'm going to see how these shuffles miss me. Okay. I'm going to try my favorite way of shuffling cards first. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to get a feel for how stiff they are. Hmm. Okay. They do need broke in, in my opinion. Yeah, they're extremely stiff. They do need broken in. Very stiff cardstock, but you know, you really don't. I don't like flimsy because you know, I'm seeing with some of my other decks with flimsy cardstock, and I have several that I'm gonna have to be replacing here real soon. But I like to be able to bend the cards a little bit. Um, I'm sure they'll loosen up because I know. Like my my um, Tarot of the Heart by John um, by John Holland and my Psychic Tarot by John Holland, 
I remember thinking they were impossible to shuffle. I did, you know, after use and use and use, they loosened up. I'm sure these will too. But right now, they're really stiff. And with my arthritis hands, it's a little bit difficult. I could say that. Okay. Okay, that's a little bit better. Just like any new deck, I have to adjust to the energy. Might see this in a reading near you pretty soon. How many of you want to see? Raise your hand or put a put a hand or a thumbs up in the comments below if you want to see if these cards fly. And you know what I mean by fly. When I'm shuffling, they jump. Okay, I like jumping cards. I kind of want to see if they jump. But I'm trying to, sh to get a good shuffle in here. Get, a, get the cards mixed up pretty well. As you know, they come in order and just like to get them mixed up a little bit. Okay. Let's see how well they jump. Let's just see and see what, com what comes out. See if we have any jumpers. They kind of like to move a little bit. I think they're going to be broken to get the re really good jumpers out of them. I like the matte finish, but they, I think they could be, is there a, a happy balance between matte and gloss? I like the way that the gloss shuffles a lot better. These aren't the easiest to shuffle, I'll be honest with you. And they don't like to jump. That's a dumb, that's, that's a bummer. Yeah, I could use my intuition to pick up my cards and just pick them. But, okay, we got jumpers. Let's see what came out. Oh, we got the justice coming out. Nice. And... Nine of Wands. Yeah. Hmm. Let's do one more. I think I need to work with these a little bit more. Not easy to get jumping cards. Page of Cups. With the Queen of Cups. Hmm, interesting. Somebody's blocking their heart space. totally get it. Nine of Wands, blocking, been through the meal, perseverance, but still going on, endurance. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody's got some stamina here, trying to keep their stamina up. In a court case is what I get. It could be child custody. Somebody, 
Maybe somebody here is in the middle of a child custody case that is watching this video, watching this review. And they're very worried about it with the Nine of Swords. Somebody's worried about a court case. Let's draw one more and see if it gives us a res um, what's going to happen with the court case. Any indication what's going to happen with this court case? Wheel of Fortune. Going in your favor. Destiny. Moving forward. Completion. It's going to, the court case is going to be over soon. Whoever needed to hear that. Whoever need to hear that, the court case is going to be over soon. And justice will be served. What is meant to be just and fair will be. Fair and balanced judgment. Okay, whoever need to hear that. Definitely spoke to me of a custody case. Wow. So once again, folks, coupon uh, website link and coupon code is in the description box the black tarot is this new deck i think i have four decks from this publisher they've sent me four so far i believe yeah because i got the first one then they sent me two this is the fourth deck that i've received from them and out of all the decks that I've gotten from them, I think this is my favorite so far. And you know what? Anton, if you're watching this, yes, this Black Tarot is my favorite out of all four decks so far. I think I will be using this a great deal. Okay. Well, thank you for tuning in and humoring me while I'm dragging ass. Yes, I'm suffering from that dreaded disease called dragon ass and I still have I'm still not done with the eclipse reading I was hoping I would be done with the eclipse readings still have one two I still have four more of them to do of course I've got right here the next one is going to get done you'll find that out tomorrow and this might even be uploaded tomorrow oh uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna fucking edit tonight Okay, anyhow, keep it real. I be me. That's why you guys love me, because I'm me, right? I'm real. I'm the real deal. I am not unicorns and rainbows. Even though I have a unicorn deck, unicorn tarot that shows unicorns and rainbows. When was the last time I used that deck? It's got to be probably two years at minimum a year and a half since I've pulled that unicorn deck out. Maybe one day I'll do that. Just for shits and giggles, use the rainbows and unicorns. For those of you that like rainbows and unicorns. Okay, I am done. I am going to bed. I am exhausted. I am going to crash. Okay, so I will see you guys next time. Love you all. Love and light and blessed be.